Hey, welcome back to Delectable You. Today we are making a quinoa stuffed acorn squash. It is a hearty recipe. It's perfect for the winter months to keep you warm and incidentally, a very good recipe to add to your holiday tables this season. So let me show you what to do. Grab yourself some small to medium sized acorn squash. Make sure that you wash the outside of the skin and we're gonna bake these whole because that's the easiest way to do it. So you're gonna stick a fork in, you know, a few parts of the acorn squash because we just want to let some of the steam escape as it bakes. Okay, stick these in a Pyrex dish. You can even just put them directly on your oven rack and we're gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 50 minutes or until they are tender. In the meantime, you're gonna prepare your quinoa. You're gonna take a cup of uncooked quinoa, make sure you rinse it off, and add it to a saucepan with a cup of water and a cup of vegetable stock. All right, so once our quinoa is ready, we're just going to add some stuff to it to make it a little bit more enticing. So while it's still steaming hot, we're gonna add a handful of spinach, fresh raw spinach. And the steam is going to wilt the spinach down, which is what we want. Look at that, nice and wilted down. All right. To this, you're gonna add about a handful of chopped parsley. We wanna get some good chlorophyll going in this filling because it's really good for our bodies. So the spinach and the parsley do the trick for us. Now let's make things interesting. You know I love sun-dried tomatoes, so let's add about a quarter of a cup or more of sun-dried tomatoes. You can do them soaked in oil if you want, or you can get the ones that are dry. It's totally up to you, whatever you want. Let's add a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of sea salt. We'll add a little crunch to the equation. We're gonna put about a quarter of a cup of pine nuts. And just to spice things up a little more and add a little bit more crunch, let's add a quarter of a cup of cashews. Mix this all together. Just look how bright and colorful this looks. It's nice and healthy, it's nice and tasty. And now we just need to wait until our acorn squash is ready and then we can stuff it and be on our way. All right, it's been about woo, 50 minutes and look, those acorn squash are ready. So leave the oven on, be very careful. You're gonna transfer these butternuts, or these are not butternut squash, these are acorn squashes. So you're gonna transfer these to a cutting board. We're gonna cut them open, we're gonna take out all the seeds, we're gonna put them back into the Pyrex dishes and fill them with our filling and bake them for another five minutes. Okay, so now that they're cut in half and they're in my Pyrex dishes, I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of each one, just to further tenderize everything. It's a little more than a drizzle, but that's okay. And then sprinkle with a little bit of sea salt and a little bit of pepper. And now let's spoon in our filling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So just fill it up to about the brim. You can do it a little bit higher than that if you want. Alrighty, the acorn squash has been stuffed with our quinoa stuffing. Now we're just gonna put these in the oven for another five minutes just to bake it off a little bit more and then you can serve it. If you like Parmesan cheese, this is an opportunity to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of this and melt it down in the oven in the last five minutes. So whatever you wanna do, five more minutes in the oven. Ooh, this is hot stuff. 
All right, as you can see, it's very hot, so be very careful when you touch this. And the way to serve is just grab a bowl, grab one of these beautiful acorn squashes and just put it in a bowl and scoop it out with a fork. You can eat the skin if you want to. I tend to not eat it. So it's just like its own little confined bowl and it's so delicious. So I hope that you make this and that you enjoy it. And I will see you again here next time. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Lauren with Delectable You. Have a lovely day.